So I have a couple of small tattoos and I was about to get a bigger one on my leg as a way to honour the memory of the baby we lost in pregnancy when I started thinking, I advise people to reduce all exposure to toxicity in order to stay healthy. So why am I not thinking about or asking about what might be in tattoo ink? So I did some research and it turns out that one of the ingredients I always advise people to steer clear of is in tattoo ink and that is phthalates. And another one is benzopyrene, two pretty toxic chemicals. Now, both of these chemicals have been linked to both cancer and endocrine disruption. They're actually found on the EPA's carcinogen list. Now, I already knew that red ink contains mercury, so that was always a no-go. It turns out that a lot of them also contain lead, cadmium, chromium, nickel, and titanium. So we're here doing these heavy metal detoxes and then getting this inked into our bloodstream without even thinking about it. And aside from the colored inks, Black ink is often made using soot and animal bones burnt down into charcoal. Now, some artists do use vegan ink, but you'd have to ask first. And something people are trying to research is, where does the pigment go when it's faded by the sun or removed with laser? Is it flushed out by the body or distributed further into the body? And it turns out that some of the ink gets absorbed into the bloodstream, meaning that that tattoo you got when you were 17, you got it removed. It could be more dangerous having it removed than having it in the first place. Now, I've never been against tattoos, but I put health above all else. And since researching this, it's led me to the decision to personally not have any more tattoos. And as with everything I speak about, it is about informed choice. So please do think about the potential long-term effects of more exposure to toxicity through tattooing when we already work so hard to limit the toxins we can't avoid.